In this video, I want to talk about the scaffold method of division. In the previous video, I looked at 110 divided by 8, and one of the ways I did this was repeatedly subtracting multiples of 8. This repeated subtraction is the basis of long division problems. And in order to understand the standard long division algorithm, we're going to start with the more flexible method, which is known as scaffold method. Depending on how this method is used, it can be less efficient than the standard long division algorithm, but it can also be a way to write the steps of the standard algorithm. So it allows for more flexibility in calculating and is kind of a stepping stone to the standard algorithm. In order to explain this method, I'm going to do 4,581 divided by 7. We start by setting it up the same way we do long division. We put 4581 underneath the division symbol, 7 on the outside to the left. In order to understand this method and why it works, let's think about division in the terms of how many groups. So 4,581 divided by 7 is the largest whole number of 7s in 4,581. Since we're looking at 4,000 here, let's think about 1,000 sevens. Well, that would be equal to 7,000, and that's too big. So instead, we're going to go down to 100s. Well, if I consider 4,581, I might be able to see that there are 600 sevens in there. 600 sevens would be 4,200, and we know it's 600 because if I tried to do 700 sevens, that would be 4,900, which is too big. So we write the 600 above the fraction symbol. We know that 600 sevens is 4,200, and we subtract because we're using this subtraction idea of division. When we do, we're left with 381. So we realized thousands wouldn't work. We dealt with hundreds. Now let's go to tens. How many tens of sevens are in 381? We can see that there are 50 sevens in here. 50 sevens would be 350. We could see 60 would give me 420, which is too much. So I'm going to write the 50 above the 60, and then we're going to subtract out that, those groups. When we do, we're left with 31. Now we're down to just the ones. There are four sevens in 31. So we write the four, we subtract out four sevens, which is 28, and we get three. So these numbers up here tell me that my solution is 654 with a remainder of 3. Let's see if we can figure out what we did using equations. We started with 4,581. We then subtracted out 600 sevens. We subtracted out 50 sevens. We subtracted out four sevens. And when we did, we had three left over. I'm going to write this as 4,581 4, minus parentheses 600 times 7 plus 50 times 7 plus 4 times 7 is equal to 3. The distributive property allows me to pull out a 7, so I can write this as 600 plus 50 plus 4, all times 7. So we have 4,581 minus 654 times 7 is equal to 3. And here we have our quotient pop out, and the right-hand side is my remainder. So this puts into equations exactly what we just did with that scaffold method. 
One of the nice things about the scaffold method is its flexibility. So for instance, let's do another problem. 5,072 divided by eight. We wanna start with hundreds and let's say we're gonna do 500 eighths. We write 500 above. 500 eighths gives me 4,000 and we subtract. That leaves me with 1,072. Well, we're still in the thousands. There's still more hundreds of eights. In fact, there's another 100 group of eights. So I can write 100 above. 100 groups of eight would be a total of 800. That would give me 272. Now I might be able to start looking at tens. I might realize that there's 20 groups of eight. 20 groups of eight would give me 160. And if I subtract that out, I get 112. We might see that we're not done with tens. There's still more tens. In fact, there are still another 10 eights. So I'm gonna write 10 up here. 10 times eight is 80. And when I subtract this out, I'm left with 32. Finally, 32 is four groups of eight. Four times eight is 32, and that would give us a remainder of zero. So if I look up here, I have a total of 634. So it does give us flexibility. If we're not sure exactly how many hundreds of eights or tens of eights, etc., we can do it in pieces. This is not the most efficient way to do this particular problem, but it does work. So it does give us some flexibility.